Hi guys and welcome back to a new series of Photoshop tutorials. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick Photoshop tutorial. In today's post I'm going to show you guys quickly how to touch up these two holes here in the hair. And last week we actually showed you guys how to clean up all the hairs and as you guys can see with our helping layer turned on at the moment you can see what we covered or what we actually retouched all these flying hairs in the whole image. Alright, let me quickly turn this off again, help layer and our group here, our healing and cloning group, turn that off and that is pretty much our starter. So on the retouch layer here, that was where we started our before and then on the group, healing and cloning, turn that on, that was our after. So that was part one, please fall back and have a look at that if you didn't see it. Okay, then image was sponsored again as well by Cass Photography, local beauty photographer, so have a minute and look at her work. And we're retouching on model Samantha Lauren Kane, who's a local makeup artist and model. All right, let's take this into the middle and let's get started on the tutorial. As I showed you guys last week on our help layer here, we're gonna turn that on or keep it actually. And on this help layer, I quickly just want to draw on there again, take with B, my brush, white foreground color, 100 opacity, and I just want to paint very roughly on here quickly. These two holes, I want to fix that, and let's get going. Okay, going to turn off my help layer, and now I'm going to, first step that I'm going to do is make my master shortcut. So I'm going to merge all layers together so that I can copy and paste something from that. So basically I don't, I'm not going to select all my layers and press right click and say merge. I'm going to go to my last layer or last group that I have like this one for instance now healing and cloning over here and then I'm going to press command alt shift and E all together. So let me do that and there you see it now we have a new layer with everything every layer that you ever created in here is merged together to a new layer so I'm just going to rename that to new because at the moment I'm just copying something from that and then I'm going to delete it again so I just need this for a short second okay so on the new layer what I'm going to do now is basically I'm just copying a little piece from a different source or what I, let me explain this a bit better I'm going to clone a little bit of hair or basically going to copy a little bit of hair from here and paste it over here and then I'm going to take that new pasted hair and merge that in a little bit into the whole other hairs. Okay, so let me do that. I'm going to switch back to P to my pen tool over here and then very close to an area now because obviously over here we have more sharpness than over here and as I can see it now all of the other hairs over here don't have so much sharpness so I need to copy also these blurry hairs. If I'm going to fill that up with very sharp hairs as you guys can see here it's very sharp. If I'm going to fill that up with sharp hairs you will definitely see that that will look fake and then people will notice it. So copy an area that's very close to it like this for instance. I want to just copy this and yeah let's get started okay with my pen tool very close I'm just gonna go very roughly over it and do a selection or a path around here gonna press right click now and say make selection new window will pop up that says feathering radius I wanna keep it to zero say okay and now we've got a selection now I'm gonna say command Z and command V so duplicate and paste that okay actually copy paste that and now I'm going to turn off my new layer at the moment and this layer here that we just have this is I'm going to call this to retouch here okay over here retouch here and then I'm going to take this layer and move it all the way down underneath again underneath of my healing and cloning layer maybe just let me write this out otherwise people will be getting confused about this Okay, healing cloning layer, all right. And then I'm gonna have it into my retouch uh, hair layer over here. And if you want to, or what I mostly do, I'm going to sort my stuff. I'm always a very sorty guy. So I'm gonna take these two layers, press Command G to group them again. So double click on there and I'm gonna retake that just to retouch, sorry, rename that to retouch. Maybe retouching, okay? Keep it to that and then open it again. Now we're gonna just select the retouching hair layer and now we're gonna work with it. We still have our new layer here at the top. Keep it over there, it's fine for now. Okay, back to retouch here. And I'm just gonna move these new hairs that we just copied over here and I'm gonna see where they actually paste in the best. So I think over here, I'm gonna press Command T to just rotate that and scale that a little bit. Okay, and over here and say, okay, that. Let's have a look again. What's underneath? Yeah, that's good for me. Okay, keep it over there. And at the moment, you can see it looks pretty fake. I'm just going to press Z and zoom out a little bit here. Sorry, let me do it over the navigator here. 
Okay, a little bit zoomed out, a little bit more maybe. Okay, and now on my retouch layer, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press my or take my eraser and pretty much just erase a little bit away. Okay, go to E with my eraser tool over here. Basically, I'm going to press Control Alt together and just get into my feathering mode and then just feather this a little bit and take it all the way down and feather it maybe a little bit more. Okay, take my brush size. I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 4 board again, so via my wheel, I'm able to change my brush size over here. I'm going to change my brush size down to 150% and my opacity, if I'm going to press 5 on my keyboard, it directly changes my opacity to 5. So remember that, that's really handy. Okay, turn up my brush size again a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is just very carefully over here brush over these hairs that we just copied. So as you guys can see, they're going away a little bit more and a little bit more. And over here, due to that, my brush is feathered. I'm not going to paint in the middle. I'm just going to take a little bit of these feathering edges from my brush and just stroke that in very carefully. Okay, and a little bit more and a little bit more. And slowly the hair from underneath is coming through. So do that a little bit more and over here and a little bit more. more. Then I'm going to take my brush size a little bit lower and strike that brush all of that in a little bit a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more and that you basically have to practice a little bit otherwise it won't look that nice at all okay and I think it's almost enough that it's coming through already so a little bit over here again okay and I'm going to turn off my retouch layer retouch here layer on the side here to see what progress we did already and how it looks like looks all good I'm going to go back into it and just brush over here a little bit more because we still have a little bit of hair here. Okay, and over here, that looks good to me. Retouch that, okay. And now I'm still going to press Command T and just scale that a little bit better and just move these hairs a little bit in. Okay, if you do a mistake, you can also, you can also just transform these hairs a little bit, not too much. Otherwise, you will see that it will just distort and look fake as well. Okay, just with my move tool a little bit with the cursors left and right, move that a little bit into the middle. Okay, and now we have a big, big mistake. What you can see is that we have copied exactly the same area. So you can see this black stripe over here and the white ones, or actually the patterns from here and here, are completely duplicated now. So if I'm going to zoom out, you can see that these two hairs look exactly the same which you don't want because it does look fake now. So what I'll do is just go zoom in again and that's why I moved my layer down here underneath our healing and cloning uh, group because now I'm going to keep it there and go back into my healing and cloning layer and on cloning layer I'm going to go back into that going to select my cloning tool over here set it to darken mode again 100 opacity and now with my brush take it also down a lot again and then move over here to the top and just select some black areas from here. So press Alt, select an area from here. So we sample from the top. And now I'm just going to streak over here a little bit. That's actually too much already. So I'm going to take my brush very low, say two pixels. Okay, and then we're going to do exactly the same effect. And now you're just going to brush that a little bit. This also does take a little bit of practice and also I'm... Um, I've got my pen pressure sensitivity set on here at the top, so it does help me a little bit with the ending. If I do a streak that at the end, it does fade out a little bit. Okay, over here a little bit more, and in here a little bit. So I'm just going to break, basically what I'm doing now is just breaking all these patterns in here. Okay, and copy again. So sample a little bit over here. Just be very carefully that you don't break too much patterns. Okay. And a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, that's actually basically enough. I have to see if that wasn't cloned too much already. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And there we can see it doesn't look that similar anymore. It does still a little bit here at the top, so I should still work a little bit on this. Okay, over here. Just going to take my, actually my normal mode at the moment for my cloning tool. And we're going to do exactly the same just with normal mode. Okay, zoom out a little bit again. 
and there you've got it our first retouched uh, hole is completely retouched at the bottom we still need to work on that so it doesn't look too copied as well so I'm going to go zoom in again and again with my cloning tool I'm not going to change my blending options it's going to stay to normal and then I'm just going to brush out this a little bit so basically I'm just copying the area from the side here and from that side and just going to break this small over here small hole and break that Okay, be very carefully when doing that. What you could also do is again create a master with a master shortcut, create a new layer, a merged layer, and then you can just actually copy again some areas from here and duplicate that and paste it in. over here okay then I'm gonna zoom out again just have a look that looks better right that looks way way better okay already alright so basically I'm gonna do the exactly the same for this step so I'm just gonna fast forward this video again so just watch me while I'm doing this and I'm also just going to, to create a new layer or basically I'm not gonna create a new layer I'm just gonna work on my new layer over here again copy an area from here and sample it onto here take it down to the retouching part down here and then going to blend that in a little bit. All right, so see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so what that's the second part that I'm going to do now here, retouch over here, put that into that place. And now I'm going to go back to my healing layer and the cloning layer and just paint that in again a little bit. Okay, so see you in a little bit. and a little bit more all right that's good enough and I can actually see we've got a bit of a mess here down here because we are underneath our healing layer so I need to erase a little bit on our healing layer, otherwise we're going to see this mistake here so take your eraser and just erase that a little bit from your healing layer okay so you don't see that healing and little strifens all right zoom out a little bit again and there you've got it. Now we retouch all of that here. As you can see, the before and after, before and after. It still needs a little bit of work. It isn't perfect yet, but it is a start. Okay. And then later what I would do is now create another layer on top of that and just brush a little bit, which I'm going to do now exactly. Okay, back to our normal layer. Just make uh, minimize everything. And on here, I'm going to make the master shortcut again. Control, Command, Alt, Shift, E together again. And then we have a new layer. And basically, on this layer, I'm going to retouch a little bit on just the here. So here, retouch, sorry, retouch three. Okay, and on here, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer. And now what I'm going to do is basically just take my brush with say around 50 opacity and it's going to change back here to my brush 50 100 opacity and very small brush say with a foreground color that should be a light gray not completely dark light gray over there because the hair is kind of dark and has a lot of gray areas on our hair retouch layer just make this a very small again and then take my opacity maybe down to say 20 percent over here okay I can also just press 2 on the keyboard and then it also changes back. And now I'm just going to take with this light gray, just paint in a little bit of these hairs here in the top. So it's basically just breaking a little bit in there. Very little bit, not too much. And be very carefully when doing this again. Because obviously this is very sharp over here and this has a little bit of a blurred effect. So we have to still fix this in the end as well. That's what I said in the start, watch out for the patterns and textures that you're not copying or sampling too much patterns and, and, and textures. Okay, over there. Okay, this still needs to be filled up quite a lot, so I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And doesn't look too good. 
because my color isn't right it's more the grayish and this has more purple in it so what I'm going to do now again with the color picker over here going to just sample exactly the area from here yeah and it has more of a reddish color actually to it there we go and then I'm going to paint exactly with that color 20 opacity over here make this a little bit lower this is a bit blurred that's why I'm just painting roughly over it you should watch out for patterns and textures I'm going to take it to 100 opacity and just to a pixels of 2 so we're going to make some very detailed streaks in here so we've just got a little bit detail in there okay and again change it back to black with X foreground color you can change that okay that's a bit too heavy so check go back in my histogram, histogram here at the top take it down with my opacity to say 40 percent and this brush that in okay it's still a bit too heavy say 30 percent and also very low okay now we're going to streak that in again a bit so basically we're just fixing this a little bit it's not always working that precise so just watch out there a little bit okay going to zoom out a little bit again and now we fixed both of these areas but there was a little bit of a blur on there so what I'm going to do now last step is going to back to filters here at the top and go to blur gauge and blur and in gauge and blur I'm going to just blur this a little bit so say around one pixel or two pixels not even that much say at 0 0.5 pixels that's okay gonna okay that and now I actually blurred out this whole layer um, I blurred out the whole layer which I don't want it to or I can actually keep it to blurring over there what I'll do now is create a mask on it so hold alt create a mask on this layer and now we have a black mask and now we can actually just paint in the areas that we want so I'm going to go back with brush onto my mask you have to select the mask and then just make my brush a little bit bigger also feather it quite a lot and also change it to white foreground color at 100 opacity and now we're just going to brush in this a little bit over here that we just added and we're also going to brush in this a little bit okay and over here so it's not that completely sharp and it's not actually going to change back with X again to black foreground color so we're going to mask out again and just mask this back again a little bit okay going to zoom out again and that is now our first step for retouching just these two holes the third step will or later in some stage you will still have to go with dodging and burning and just adjusting all of these colors and merging that in again but basically that was just my second tutorial that I wanted to show you guys quickly how to retouch or how to fill these hairs and show you quickly my technique on how I'm doing this so see you all in the third technique or third tutorial where I'm showing you guys how to go on with this image thank you guys for watching my name is Manny if you guys still have any questions please feel free to email me to team at mannyphotography.co.today I'm happy to help you with your questions thank you for watching and see you all next week in another tutorial bye bye